found this plush at the Goodwill for $2.62, half off green tag day. Yes, at the Goodwill. Sold on eBay for full asking price of $239.99. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout. I am Courtney, also known as BOLO Buddies, and I have three channels. I've got those linked down in my link tree. If you wanna check me out on other social media platforms and all of that good stuff, check out my link tree. These BOLOs come from my Facebook members and my YouTube members. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to share with you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And these are big money bolos. A lot of these things I would have walked right past. I popped this up in my Facebook group. First off, this is my Facebook group. Go join if you haven't already. And anybody can share a bolo, and I will feature it in a video just like this. Look for a post under the featured section that says, Share Your Best Bolo and super easy to share and super fun way to help others learn and to learn yourself. This first one is a Bluefish Brocade Paisley sewing, or I'm sorry, swing coat, high, low, black, and gray shawl collar. So let's read what she says. This is what it looks like. Found at the Goodwill on senior day. I rarely source clothing unless it is something special. It was squeezed in a rack of coats. I had a lot, it had a lot going on. It was brocade, busy print, high-low hem, unusual style, fashion label, excellent condition, huge pockets, and in a plus size to boot. Priced at nine, price marked at nine, got it for seven. Hard to find comps, so I priced it for $74.04 on auction following Courtney's strategy. Sold with only one bid, but nice profit for me. Yay. Thanks, Courtney. So what I always say is if you can't find comps, start your auction high. Why do I say that? Because if you started at 99 cents or you started at $10, if there's only one person looking for your item on the day it sells or during the week that you have it listed, it may only go for $10 or 99 cents. If you list it at $74.04, which is, what's, that's what, $74.04? Ah, that's kind of different, but I kind of like it. Um, you may get that. Only one person wanted her item. If she would have had it for $10, that's what it would have sold for. Granted, she may have gotten more bids from different buyers if she would have priced it lower, but it may not have went for as high. So always take a chance List it high on auction and see what happens. You can always change it to buy it now if it doesn't sell. It's a good way to feel out your market. Okay, this one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She is a moderator of this Facebook group. She is a Bolo Buddies member and she is a big money Bolo finder. If you are not following her over on YouTube, what are you doing? You got to go follow her. She is just a Bolo finder. Let me show you. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. I part I, I purchased I purchased this in a bulk buy two weeks ago, paid 50 cents. Had it listed for two days and cha-ching. Smack dab in the middle of one of Bolo Buddies, Courtney's whatnot shows, it sold. And for full asking price, which there really were no comps to speak. I'm just made up a price. <laughs> <laughs> 92.43 shipped. Buyer sent a note that they were super excited to find and get this book. Anything, I repeat, anything train related is a bolo. It is a treatsy of wooden tretzel. Are you kidding me? Bridges 4th edition 1913 by Wolcott Foster. This is what it looks like. So when I say no, Noel is a bolo finder, I mean, she sells weird stuff and she gets big money for it. So she's kind of like me though. She will wait it out, list it and forget it. All right. And she said she was at my whatnot show. So Noelle, thank you for hanging out at my whatnot show. She also helps me moderate over there as well. 
and Noelle is also on Whatnot. So follow Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. She did Tupperware the other night, and I'm like, I'll be at your show, but I'm not buying any Tupperware. I don't need any Tupperware. Guess what I bought? I bought vintage Tupperware. Um, I bought some stuff for myself and then I bought some stuff to resell. So she had great prices on her items. You guys can definitely source on Whatnot. I do have a link down below. If you are not already on Whatnot, go down there and join and you're going to get $15 to shop. Um, that's free money, guys. Use my referral link down below and get that free money and follow Bolo Buddies and Noelle, which is Farm Girl Scavenger. So uh, follow us over there. Let's see what else she sold here. She's got me a big old paragraph. She actually said, um, to me, I'm going to do what Jerry does and I'm going to put a bunch of information. And Jerry is Jersey Shore thrifter. And I always give him a hard time because he cracks me up with his post. So let's see what Noelle has to say. Maybe this one item, which sold for $23.74 shipped, doesn't seem like a bolo to many, but don't you fret. I did a video last year on this little insignificant item. If Bolo Buddies Courtney approves, I will add the link to the video on how I parted this item out and have actually made more money doing so than if I would have listed it as it was and possibly a mint condition one. I'm down to just a few pieces left and I have another that I'm about to cannibalize. <laughs> oh my gosh, to do the exact same thing with. I think she means parted out. Uh, let's see. Uh, please do not pass by the Mr. Christmas items just because they are damaged. As my friend Donatella always says, someone out there is looking for this. And that is Donatella Bottolino. This is her YouTube channel. Go sub her up. And she is Donatella on Whatnot. So follow her there as well. These items are no longer made and I have a hankering to make sure the parts and pieces to these are available to people who want to fix theirs. Buy the weird stuff. P.S. I honestly am going to have to go watch the video because I can't remember where I got it or what I paid, but either the bins are in a state sale and it was probably dirt cheap or free. <laughs> It is a soldier motor replacement repair for a Mr. Christmas Santa's marching band. And so she parted it out and she has just been selling the pieces over and over and over. And yes, she has a video. And Noelle, of course, um, just put uh, the video in and just say admin approved because that is definitely a super educational video. And you guys can also find that over on her YouTube channel. Okay, Bolo Buddies, Courtney, this was given to me free, was pulled out of the trash and sent to me from an amazing friend on the East Coast who wants to remain anonymous. Dun, dun, dun. Sold in just a couple of weeks for $63.10 shipped. Jerry isn't the only one with stories and curbside deals. All right, it's a beach ball. These beach balls are definitely a bolo. This is a 24-inch The Wet Set vinyl beach ball sealed 1994 dead stock. I bought this Mentadent toothpaste refill for free. I'm sorry. I bought this Mentadent toothpaste refill with free base at a local thrift store for $1, sold in four days for full asking price of $79.99. Yes, I have sold this same thing. Definitely a bolo. This is what it looks like. If you can find it, you're going to be in the money. All right, so this one comes from, okay, this one comes from Katie's Corner, and this is her eBay store. It looks like this, so definitely go give her a follow. Um, I will link her eBay store down below, and you guys can click on that. Go and follow her by clicking on the heart. That will let you know when she posts new items, and also if she sends out a store coupon. So it looks like it sold for $79.99. Bolo. Mindful Recycle. If you're not following Mindful Recycle, what are you doing and where have you been? Have you been under a rock? No, I'm kidding. I talk about Terry all the time because I literally watch her YouTube videos and I'm like this because she finds the most amazing bolos. I'm like, how can she have so many big money bolos in one video? It's just incredible. You guys will learn so much from her YouTube channel. This is what it looks like. I will link her down below. Go sub her up. She is a Bolo Buddies member. She is also a, um, she helps moderate with the Facebook group as well. 
And she picks up these things, which I pass by because I just do. I don't want to ship them. And I'm probably just a ding dong for not even looking these things up because she makes so much money on these. So look them up and don't be afraid to ship them. This book set is 130 years old. Charles Spurgeon Sermons picked up this set on the last day of an estate sale for half off. They took three months to sell. She paid $12.50 and sold them for $379.97. So what am I telling myself right now? It's not that hard to ship. That's a huge profit. Look it up. All right. Here's another one she sold. Picked up this book set of Lord of the Rings at an estate a couple months ago for $12 and sold it for $174.97. That's what it looks like. The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Um, it looks like it is the trilogy. So it's a set. This one comes from Nina's Jewels, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel. Fantastic reseller content. Link down below. Go sub her up. She says, got this for $3.47 at a local thrift store. It is some kind of waterproof junction type box for cables. Sold for $150 within a couple days. So kind of one of those things that you really don't know what it is, but you pick it up and you sell it for big money. You got to love those, right? This is what it looks like. Would you have picked it up or walked right past it? Let me know down in the comments. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Take Two Enterprises. And here is her um, eBay store. I got this hat free from friends doing a spring cleaning. I listed it on eBay for $59.99 and it sat for a bit. Today, I accepted a $51 offer. It's a Gigi Pip straw hat. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, those straw hats, some of them can go for big bucks. Put this on a five-day auction. Quite surprised it went this high. Amazing. It is a vintage Norcrest Japan ceramic bluebird pear on branch anthropomorphic. This is what it looks like. $135.50. This one comes from Childhood Finds. This is her YouTube channel. She said, I paid 50 cents for this at an estate sale along with two others like it and sold it for full asking price. It is an Art Deco green rhinestone Fleur de Lis decorative fan hair comb ornament vintage. How pretty is that? It sold for $59.95 plus shipping. 50 cents. That's awesome. That is beautiful. We got this free in a buddy mail mystery box from my uncle in Illinois. Oh, her uncle's sending her buddy mail. That's so cute. Listed for 60 and took a best offer of 55 plus shipping. Sale was pretty fast, about a month. And it looks like it is a vintage scissors Jaguar hair shears from Germany in the box. And this is what it looks like. Pretty fun, right? Found this plush at the Goodwill for $2.62, half off green tag day. Yes, at the Goodwill. Sold on eBay for full asking price of $239.99 with free shipping. Plus, uh, sold within a week of listing. Kirk the Cheat Plush, Home Star Runner, Strong, Bad Working Sound, 10 inches rare. So the sound didn't even work and it sold for $239. So can you still find things at the Goodwill? You can. Piece of Scrap, YouTube channel, paid $2 for Shrek Uno card game, and it sold for $47, shipped on eBay. Buyer used 10% off coupon, Shrek Uno cards. You gotta love this. Wonder if it's new or old, new or pre-owned. I'm not sure. It's used. It's used. Two into 47. Check out Piece of Scrap. She will be linked down below. This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter. This is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. She is an amazing bolo finder. You definitely want to go follow her eBay store linked down below. She said, I spotted this set of four MCM wall plaques at a thrift store and had a feeling they were something special. I flipped one over and saw the vintage Turner brand label and knew it was a bolo. 
Many, not all, of the Turner brand wall decor are sought after. I paid $12 for the set and sold them in three days for a best offer of $150 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. So that is a great tip. I've never heard of Turner. This one also comes from The Quiet Thrifter. This piece was lurk lurking in my profit pile. Ooh, I like that. I call it a money pile. I like profit pile too. So long, I forgot where I bought it, but it had a $2 garage sale sticker on it. I started researching and she said she about died when she saw what they were selling for. I'm glad you didn't die. <laughs> she said, I listed it high for a best offer of $234.90, sold in less than a week, and buyer paid shipping. Don't ignore your profit pile. There would be gems hiding there. It is an antique 1900s hand-painted Nippin Lidded Tobacco Humidor Jar Lake Boat Scene. And I just think I nailed some of those words. I'm really proud of myself. This is what it looks like. This one also comes from The Quiet Thrifter. And it is, it says, I bought this at an antique shop and I paid up for it at $48. But I knew it could be a score because the color was amazing. And genie bottles are hot right now. I put it up on a seven-day auction and the winning bid was $161.50. Buyer paid shipping. This was definitely a double box with lots of bubble wrap item. And it's an amethyst color and it's awesome. Check it out. All right, this comes from 1987 Ventures. She said, and this is her YouTube channel, go and follow her. She's also over on Instagram, so follow her there as well. Got these cuties at a town-wide yard sale last weekend for $5 for the pair while out of town. They are Russian cloth hand-painted dolls from the 1930s uh, from the USSR. I listed them yesterday for $149.87, got an offer in an hour for 120 plus shipping. I thought about holding out, but sales are slow, so I let them have them. This is what they look like. Those are cool. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. This is her eBay store. I purchased this unmarked Eisenberg brooch at an antique show about 30 years ago. At the time, I paid 50. I just sold the brooch on eBay to a gentleman in China for $310. I had it for sale at $400 and offered it to him for $325, and he countered at $310. Guess what? I took it. So, I did a video on brooches that are unsigned that can sell for big money. This is what that video looks like. Definitely go check it out. Not all big money brooches are signed. You just got to know what to look for. And apparently she knew what to look for. So this is from her personal collection that she's selling off. She has tons of beautiful jewelry in her eBay store. So go follow her down below by clicking on that heart. This is what the brooch looks like. The girls junkin. Let's see what they got here. Paid $32 for 16 puzzles at a garage sale. Posted the two large sealed puzzles, one 5,000, one 6,000. The 5,000 piece listed for $125.99 took a best offer of $105. The 6,000 piece was listed for $176.99 and took a best offer of $120. All our listings, buyer pay shipping. Thank you for this channel, Courtney. It helps all to find things for cents and turn them into big money. eBay store is the girls junkin, and this is what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Go and subscribe and follow these eBay stores and YouTube channels that are linked down below. They are fantastic. Um, let me know which bolo was your favorite. Go to the Facebook group and join and share your bolo so I can feature it in a video like this. And that is under the featured section. So it's at the top. It's pinned. So you can look for that there. And thank you for so much for thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.